The last part of the getting started chapter then is going to focus on creating a new level in Unreal Engine. So the first thing we'll do is just go into the content draw. So if you can remember what we said earlier, that is control and space to get in there. And you can see that we've got some folders here. We've got characters, level prototyping, start content and third person. These are all stuff from the template we've chosen and from the start content that we added. But we want to add now a new folder so that we can put our new level in it. So we're going to right click in the content draw and go up here to folder. And I'm going to call this levels like so. So now we've got somewhere to put this level. Now what I'm going to do is just go into this levels folder and I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it or what I consider to be the wrong way to do it. And then I'm going to show you the right way to do it. So if we just right click in here and go to new level and we'll just call it delete me because this is going to get deleted. It's going to be so wrong. And then let's just save all a little button here to save everything. And we'll open that up and it creates a level with nothing in it, which is kind of what we want but we missed out a step because we did it that way. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go back here to filters and then I'm going to go back to my content folder. And this will just show every level within my project. So I'm just going to go back to this third person map and then I'm going to delete, delete me. So let's get rid of that because it's stupid. There we go. Right. I'm just going to turn that filter off like so. And now what we're going to do is make a level the right way. So to do that, we're going to go up to file and there's a new level dialogue here. So we'll click on that. And this is the step that was just missed out because we just did it in the content draw. We have the option to create an open world, an empty open world, a basic level or an empty level. Now, incidentally, we do want an empty level, but most of my tutorials will actually start with a basic or an open world template. And they're really useful because they come with some really cool stuff like lights and a sky but we do actually want to create an empty level so we'll click on that and then go to create and then we need to choose where we want this level to go because at the moment we've created it it's called untitled and it actually isn't in our project we need to save it before it will actually be part of our game so we're going to go to file we're going to do save current level as and i'm going to call it ship because this is the first part where we're going to have our robot inside a spaceship and i'm going to put it in my levels folder on save okay and that is how we create a new empty basic level so that brings us to the end of the first chapter in our journey to learn unreal engine 5 hopefully you've stuck with it all right in the next chapter we're going to put this level together which will include bringing in the meshes getting some materials put together doing some lighting and getting to grips with some more of the tools i hope i will see you for the next chapter but that will do it for this one thanks so much for joining me i hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyable if you're eager to dive deeper into game development with Unreal Engine 5, I have a fantastic recommendation for you. I highly recommend checking out the course Unreal Engine 5 The Complete Beginners Course by David Nixon on Udemy. It's a comprehensive and beginner-friendly course that covers all the essential aspects of working with Unreal Engine 5. I personally found it to be an excellent resource and I'm sure you'll benefit from it too. Check it out by following my link in the description below. Once again, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.